Water bears live from the deepest ocean trenches to the tops of mountains, from tropical rainforests to the Antarctic. They're short and plump, with four pairs of legs. They move slowly in a lumbering gait like a bear, which is why they're called water bears. Their scientific name is tardigrade, which means slow walker. Adult water bears are typically 500 microns to one millimeter long. Their favorite food is moss, and they're most commonly found in streams, rivers, or ponds. What's amazing about water bears is their resilience. They can survive pressures up to 600 megapascals, six times that of the deepest ocean trenches. They can also survive radiation hundreds of times the dosage that would kill a human. Without food or water, at temperatures down to minus 458 degrees Fahrenheit, or beyond boiling. Perhaps most amazingly, they can survive the vacuum of space. How do they do this? By going into a hibernation state, they replace the water in their cells with a glassy resin, which preserves them and their DNA even from space radiation. In this state, their metabolism is suspended, and they can go without food or water for more than 30 years Understanding how these remarkable creatures function can help us understand human factors and habitability for space exploration. Did you know that there may already be water bears in space? On April 11, 2018, the Israeli satellite Vereshchik planned to land on the moon. It carried with it a backup of planet Earth, including thousands of tardigrades. The satellite crash landed, spilling tardigrades all over the lunar surface. I wonder if they survived. Here at Aerospace, we're doing our own experiments to explore how these amazing creatures survive in vacuum. How are we doing this? Well, we can create a space-like vacuum in one of our small chambers by removing all the air after we've added some water bears inside. We expect to see the water bears in vacuum go into their dormant cocoon-like state. This is called a ton, and they can remain in this state as long as they are exposed to vacuum. When the air is returned to the chamber, we expect them to return to their original bear-like form. At Aerospace, we have several samples of water bears, and they are living happily in the Propulsion Science Laboratories under the care of Dr. Andrea Shu. We'll be keeping you posted with their latest news.